Welcome back to the second channel guys. Today we're doing a little bit of a vlog and yes, Mamie is going to be in it. So today's vlog, we're actually building Pakistan a place to run on. Right now, this is his current situation. He's currently on a chain, pinned up, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's not really working. He keeps getting hung up ever so often. Well, kinda. Well, the thing is that he's, he's not smart enough to use it. That's the only problem. If he knew how to walk around the stake, he would be fine but he's just not that smart. He's a messed up breed. Nobody knows what he is. He's too focused on killing cats. Pakistan, Pak, kill pa Pakistan. He's really energetic and honestly, he uh, he likes to play a lot. Oh, okay, that's cool. Anyway, he's really energetic and I want to get him a thing to where he can run over there to the edge of Mamie's house. The plan is going to be just like the one I built for Steve. I'm going to take this green rope, run it from that tree to that pole, then put this rolly thingy on it, attach his current chain to the rolly thing so that he can actually run back and forth right here. It should be good and it'll be a lot better for Mamie because she actually comes in here and feeds him. And I don't know why she don't ask me, but she kind of just does it. But yeah, we're going to fix it up. He should be good to go. Let's go. Oh yeah, and I don't know if I've said this at the beginning, but we're not going to tell Mamie until it's completely done. Now, she never asked me to do this, but I mean, I don't know. I just feel like it's a logical decision. That is literally the best way to keep a dog, in my opinion, is on a thing to where they can run back and forth. If you have the space. If you don't have a space, I think that's perfectly fine as long as your dog is smart enough to know how to, you know, chains work. Which that one don't, because his name's Pakistan and he's not smart. I was about to get the rope, but there, there's a cat in the way. I hope y'all ain't going to try to turn me into animal cruelty or anything, but we're going to drop this cat upside down and see if it lands on its feet okay have you ever heard that if you've never heard of the tail you can drop a cat upside down and it will always land on its feet and we're going to test that out today because it's kind of true ready watch did you see that that's insane these guys are geniuses you can do that a hundred times and it's going to land on its feet a hundred times it's insane anyways let's go ahead and put this thing up Just for your information, if you ever plan on doing this, I would definitely prefer steel cable over rope. But that's the only thing I have, and I kind of just want to get it done today. So yeah, it'll probably last a couple years, and <laughs> after that, hopefully Pakistan will be let out loose. The only reason that he's actually tied up right now is because he's not smart, and he likes to, you know, eat everything. I'm pretty sure this whole video has basically been me just roasting Pakistan about how dumb he is. So you know, it is what it is. Out of the work, guys. That's, that's that's pretty good right there. So now we got it to where it goes from here to that tree. Pretty taut. I mean, like I was saying, wire is obviously going to be better and stronger and less flex. But this should work for now. All right, Pakistan, are you ready to make a move? Let's go. Let's go. Dang, Pakistan, you really got that thing messed up. Ah, Jack, Pakistan. I said, I said, don't worry, Pakistan. Pa oh snap! I'm about to fight him. I really am. I'm about to fight him. I'm unboxing. All right, Pakistan, let's do this. Don't fight me this time. Pakistan, stop being crazy! And we're back, guys. Pakistan is fully upgraded. I don't know. Maybe he he upgraded sweets or something. But listen, the thing can go side to side. I have these knots right here, so he can't go any further that way, so he can't get tangled up in the tree. Same thing over here, so he can't get wrapped up in the pole and too much junk over there. But besides that, all I need to do is move his house on over to here, move his bowls over there, get all this junk together, all these things I pulled off the tree, take it out of here, and then it'll be time to go get Mammy and give her the very best present she has received this this week yeah probably not her life probably not this year but it sure dang will be the best thing she's got all week by the way it's monday so the week just started go into your new house i mean it's the same house you've always had but it's it's in a different spot now so it's technically dude just stop come on pakistan come on get to do your house pakistan what you doing pakistan let's run him around a little bit make sure he knows how to use it pakistan 
Pakistan! Pakistan, come here! Your name's not Pakistan, your name's Tiger. Pakistan! Okay, this is Kevin Firm. He does not understand his new leash technology. Are you okay? Are you crying? Are you getting emotional? Is this the best present anyone's- <laughs> He's getting emotional, I think he's crying. Oh no, he's just trying to bite me. Okay, that's cool. Hello Pakistan! Hello Pakistan! You want some food? Do you want some food? Hey, cat, cat, bruh, bruh, no, no, mm-mm, uh-uh. -mm. That ain't your food, tiger. You're gonna have to get the heck out of here. Yeah. Uh -uh. No, sir. Did you see that? She done a backflip and still landed on her feet. That just literally proves my theory. Dude, you better protect your food if you want food. Oh my goodness, you're dumb, dude. You're a dumb dog. You better buy it. You better buy it. She's eating your food. There you go. Hey, kid. Hey, kid, that's the smartest thing you did all day. Okay, guys, it's time to go get Mammy. Now, to get Mammy to come out here, I've got to say the perfect thing. Open up, police. I should get her. I'm going to try to do a hidden camera. We'll see how it works. <laughs> Mammy, your dog killed a cat. Huh? Your dog killed a cat. No. There's your dog. What are you turn him loose for? He ain't loose. Come oh. outside and look at it. Oh. You can come out a little bit farther if you don't see anything. I'm coming. Close the door so they won't go in there. Okay. Oh, I like buddy. Yeah, what do you think about it, Mammy? I built that. That's good, buddy. What do you think about it? I think it's good. It's nice. It is nice. It took me 14 hours. To build it? Yep, 14 hours. Been here all night. Uh, you ain't done it. Uh-huh. You're on you're on camera. It's a hidden camera show. It's a camera show. Oh. It's a hidden camera. It's a prank. It's a oh. social experiment. What do you think about it? Are you happy I did it? I'm happy. Is this the best present you've got so far this week? So far this week. Okay, good. Well, there he is. Now you don't have to walk out there to feed him. You can just come right here. And apparently yeah. the cat's going to drink all the water, so. Yeah. All right. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, bet. We'll see you later, boys. Welcome back to my second channel, guys. Today we are going to I don't know what we're doing, okay? This guy over here, he bought a he bought a yellow-bellied spotted lizard. He's had it for a little while. I've not seen it yet. We literally just went and like bought it rats to eat and a leash. Those are small, dude. So like those are like baby mice. Why didn't you get real size mice? I don't know, but Dave is gonna like kill them. Okay, guys, we have the dragon. Oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry, bro. I'm getting a little bit too excited. And uh, his name's Dave. Got a little bit too excited there, and I think I kind of freaked him out. Tell us what we're looking at, Ethan, because I have absolutely no clue what this is. Dave's a two year old male bearded dragon. What do you think about this thing? I don't know. Same, bro. Same. Bro, we're taking Dave for a walk. Dave's a stinking savage. Dude, look how scary that is. Easy, Dave. You get back. Plus, I'll punt you. I will punt you. Come on, big Dave. What's up, brother? He's such a weirdo. Oh, my goodness. Dave, do something cool. We do not call you a dragon for nothing. Oh. All right, we're going to feed him now. We're at least going to try to feed him. Come on, Dave. Eat it, Dave. Dave, why ain't you eating the rat? I paid 70 cents for these. About the head off. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's already killed the rat. And for all you guys getting mad in the comments, that's like, that's literally what these are bred for and everything. For fruit. Whoa! Ooh, ooh, chill, Dave. We bought these for you, and we expected you to eat them. Oh, okay, that's nice. Okay, he declined an interview. Well, I guess that's all we got for this episode. Tell me what you think about the Ethan's dragon thing. On, See ya. Dave. See you later, I guess. Dave's not really being very cool sportsman. He's just being... <sighs> Dave's just being Dave. It's just how he is.